All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for today's lesson, we are going to make cream cheese banana bread. Yum. Okay, so let's get right to it. I'm going to take in my in my KitchenAid bowl. I'm going to use my paddle this time. Okay, I'm going to start with one and a half cups of granulated sugar in the bowl. Okay, and then I'm going to use half. Well, I'm going to use one and a one and a half uh, sticks of butter. Okay, so all right, we're very soft. So what I need to do is get that butter out of there, like so. This one. Hmm. Hey now, don't be laughing. Oh, come on. All right, so we'll you save that for later. Actually, we use just a little bit more. Make sure that we got enough, enough in there. Okay, so that's one and a half sticks. Plus maybe a smidge more. And then I have a full 8 ounce package of cream cheese that has been sitting here so it's nice and soft. Get the rest of that in. Okay. Very good. Now I'm just going to put this on the mixer. Keep it at low speed till I get it smoothed out. Now what I'm looking for is for all of that sugar to be incorporated into the butter. Once I see the bottom of the mixing bowl, then I know that it's all in. And there we go. So now, give it a quick scrape. Always got to give it the scrape. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, good. That butter is so soft that it's not... You know, this is this is going to be an easy mix to make because the butter is so darn soft. It's really warm in here. I haven't put my air in yet. So anyway, okay. So we have our cream cheese, our butter, and our sugar. Now we're going to need some eggs. So we're going to. This recipe is going to call for two eggs. There's one. And two. Okay. Let those mix right in. Might as well give her a shot of vanilla in the mix in the meantime. My typical half cap. <laughs> all right. So that's pretty much uh, all the wet, wet ingredients, with the exception of the um, bananas. <laughs> We want to let, let this get nice and smooth. Mm. Give it a little, little scrapey scrape. Mm. Once this is all broken down, I'm going to go ahead and add the bananas. And we want it to be nice and ripe. The riper the better. Then the uh, sugars form. It makes a better banana bread. Okay, so we have a few little chunks on the paddle. We want to make sure that those get down into the mix. So before I go any further, I want to get that down, scrape those. Okay, very good. Oh yeah, look at how nice and smooth that is. Very oh, yeah. good. All right. Recipe calls for a cup of banana, three small or three large bananas, or four small bananas. 
Okay. Now you can mash them up, but I like to leave um, them whole. Well, I like to leave them whole and let them break down naturally, and that way you have um, you know a few little chunks of banana too, which is a really nice flavor. Why well, to get that different contrast in the texture? The textures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So that's just squishing around in there. No, that won't take very long. To break up <laughs> Excuse at all. me. What's that? That won't take long to break up at all. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> here's one cup <clears throat> of all purpose flour. going to need three cups, but before I fill that, I'm going to add some goodies to it, like some baking powder and some baking soda. All right, let's see here. Powder, we need a teaspoon. So let's do that. Get that out of the way. One full, one full teaspoon. Okay. Making sure that I break up any chunks. Okay, there's that. Because nobody wants a little. <laughs> well, it's going to be a, a big old pop in the in the oven, and then we need a half a teaspoon of soda. Okay, so there's that. Now we need a, t a tablespoon. Cinnamon, which is one, two, three teaspoons. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. All right, and then we need a little bit of nutmeg too. So we need a quarter of a teaspoon of that. I'm just going to use my half teaspoon and so not, obviously it's not really fill it. Spice, huh? What's that? Nutmeg is a bit of a powerful spice, though, right? It's very powerful, yeah. So you want to use it in the... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you want to use it in sparingly. Yeah. So, all right. So there's all that. And now... Well... I'm going to go above. Yeah, that's good. In there. Just for good measure, I'm going to put a little bit more flour in there. Okay. Put this off to the side. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Did we miss anything? We got the flour, the powder, the soda, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg. Nope. We got it all. Okay. Remember, you don't want to pop it into your face, so we want to jog it slow. <laughs> Make it nice and slow. Oh, look at that. Coming right along. And also, folks at home, like John says, be very careful of using your utensils because it'll just... <laughs> Okay. Definitely important. What you call experts. <laughs> Definitely want to get down to the bottom there. Oh, yeah. oh that stand mixer that Santa got us? Mm hmm. Guess what else we got now? What? The actual cover. So when you start. Mm -hmm. It covers the bowl so that way you don't get that <laughs> if it happens. Great, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, so we want this to be nice and smooth, and we don't want to over mix it, of course. We want to think of this just like cake batter or cookie dough. Okay. 
Yeah, just as soon as it got smooth, right? just as soon, soon as it got smooth, I stopped mixing it. Right there. What? You just want to incorporate it and yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. All right, let me clean the table here. Okay. All right. Now, this makes enough for two. And this is about eight inches. This is about four inches, four and a half inches. Typical um, quick loaf pan. You do want to grease it nice. Now this is professional baking spray, so I don't need to worry about putting any flour in there. Some folks like to do that just to be sure. If you have good spray, you don't really need.